Every one of them is an individual thing. Yeah, I call it spooky. I bought it the day before Halloween. Miss Hattie. Sweet ride. They buy it and then they have to put themselves into it. I call it a thumper. I just call it a dreamer. It doesn't just stop at the front door. That's really where it starts. She calls it the other woman. They named it Stretch. Buck. Just my sweetheart. She's my girlfriend. My Harley is definitely a woman. This is TW, and you're watching LA Rider, Louisiana's premier motorcycle television show. You know, for many of us, riding is therapeutic, and sometimes you just gotta ride, even if it's no place in particular. It's beautiful weather, and I'm gonna take a ride and have a little picnic. I've been working very hard lately, and I'm exhausted. I need some nice, quiet time to think. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> I invited Warren Broussard to come along. Our destination, the Clark Creek Waterfalls near Pinckneyville, Mississippi. Warren had just installed a new GPS and wanted to try it out. Hmm, does this mean we can't call him Wrong Way Warren anymore? Pinckneyville, now it says here you got Alabama. Pickett, Rick, Pick, whoop. Oh, whoa. Pickering. No, Pickering. that's Pickering. Pickering. Pickering, that day going Piccadilly. Well, since neither of us could spell Pinckneyville, I guess the GPS wasn't going to do us much good. No problem. I knew the way. Heading out from the L.A. Rider offices in downtown Baton Rouge, we took U.S. 61 North to St. Francisville. It wasn't long before my feet were up on the highway pegs and the stress and strain of the previous week had begun to fade away. Just north of St. Francisville, we took a left on LA-66. Folks around here call this the Angola Road because it dead ends at the state prison. So don't pick up any hitchhikers and watch out for the local traffic. Some folks around here seem to be in quite a hurry to get there. Double yellow lines mean nothing apparently. At Highway 969, the road to Pinckneyville, we took a right. Now this is the most beautiful part of the ride as the road gently twists and turns through stands of oak, willow, and magnolia. After a few miles, you'll see the pond store on the left. This is the entrance to Clark Creek. Finally made it to the pond store. No thanks to Warren's GPS system since we couldn't spell the name of the town. <laughs> the pond store alone is worth the trip. Part store, part resting place, part museum. It's been in operation almost continually for more than 140 years, and they have a little bit of everything here. Food, cold drinks, the usual stuff, and some not so usual stuff. I'm not sure why, but Warren just had to have a bar of octagon soap. After stocking up on provisions, we headed for the entrance to Clark Creek Nature Area, which is just a few hundred feet from the store. Now, if you've never experienced the Tunica Hills, a little advice. There are some pretty steep climbs here, so bring some comfortable shoes. I love to hike and this is great exercise. There are more than 40 waterfalls along Clark Creek, some of them as high as 30 feet. And there's a marked trail which will take you to about half a dozen of them. The area is absolutely beautiful and peaceful too. As you walk the trails, it's hard to believe that you're only about an hour or so away from the city. Before you see it, you hear it. The first waterfall, and it's a beauty, a 20-footer. Perfect place to rest, enjoy a snack, and just chill out. This is one of seven falls within a three-mile hiking area around Clark Creek. For obvious reasons, we chose the closest one. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough time to hike the entire trail. That takes about four hours. 
I know Warren and Bob were so disappointed. <laughs> now that made for a great day, but don't try these hills unless you think you can handle it. Yes, a hike in the Tunica Hills is a perfect place for clearing the cobwebs and getting away from the stress and strain of everyday life. A few hours here and you'll be ready to swing back into action. For LA Rider, this is TW. <laughs> the motorcycle fun is just getting started, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 